Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on the kick command and how we can use it to be a ban command and permanently remove players from your server. So I have two accounts online right now, so we're going to go ahead and be kicking Arctic Shark Games here later in the video. Sorry about that, buddy. And that's how we're going to go ahead and test the ban system. But for now, let's just go ahead and go over the basic kick command. So the kick command is something that only would work for OP players. And you would go into the chat, and you type forward slash kick. And then you can type anybody's name in that's online, and it should give you a predictive text even of who the names are. So you can go ahead and go kick Arctic Shark Games if you'd like to, and that would kick him from the lobby. And if this is a single player solo world, then that would kick Arctic Shark Games from the world for the rest of the time the world's online. But then if you go ahead and save and quick quit then arctic shark games could then go ahead and join again so it's not a permanent ban but it is a temporary ban in solo worlds um, for online servers a lot of times the player can just immediately join again after they've been kicked so that's the reason for the want on a ban system in java edition minecraft has a ban command but unfortunately you can see that nothing comes up when we type slash ban so that is why i came up with this system here so I ran into a couple of other little issues that if any of you guys have tried this before you might have also ran into is that if you go ahead and try to type something in other than a player name inside a command block it won't actually run. So if we go ahead and do the same thing that we did in the chat and we type kicked Arctic Chart Games then this command block could actually run it. But if we go ahead and type something that isn't a specific name in order to actually make ourselves a little system here you can see I've done a score called ban. That's how we're going to be keeping track of who's going to be banned later, later in the video. Uh, but if we go ahead and run this, it says please provide the name of the player you want to kick. So the command block doesn't actually have a high enough permission level to run target selectors on a player. But there is a way to get around that is to have the command block execute the command as a player. So if we go ahead and execute as anybody, now the command is basically being run by a player rather than by itself. Then we can run kick at anyone, scores equals ban equals one, and that would be how we're going to go ahead and do our command system here, where we can go ahead and add a scoreboard point to anybody that we want to permanently ban. So without further ado, let's get into the real ban system here. So we're going to go ahead and need to make a scoreboard objective that we talked about there, which is what's going to keep track of who's actually banned. So we're going to go in the chat bar like I'm doing right now and we're going to go ahead and type in forward slash scoreboard objectives and then we're going to add and we're going to name it ban all lowercase and then dummy and then we're going to go ahead and hit enter and you can see it added a new objective ban successfully. So now when a player has a point on the ban scoreboard that means that they will be banned. So in order to add a point to a player on the band scoreboard, you can either do this in chat or you can do this in a command block. Or if you're running a server with a console, you could even do this in your server console as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and put scoreboard player set. And then you put the player name here that you want to ban. So I'm doing Arctic Shark Games. We're going to ban him. And we're going to give him ban one. So you add one point to, or you set one point on his ban scoreboard. So if we press that, you can see it's set ban for Arctic Shark Games to one. Now, <clears throat> if you wanted to put a player who has sort of a funky name on it, you can use quotations. So if my name had a space in it, like this, Arctic Shark, Arctic Space Shark. You could use quotation marks just in case you're having trouble typing a player name in. So now that we've put one point onto Arctic Shark, um, we want to go ahead and set up a way to ban him automatically. That way we don't have to do one command block for every player we want to ban. Now we can just run, run one command block always. So we have a repeat unconditional command and you can either put this to needs redstone and then put a redstone block next to it just to be care just to be safe because this command is something you want to be careful with. Anybody with this score will be kicked on a repeat. So you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble here. You want to make sure that you know you don't add this band score to everybody just before we start. But execute as anybody, run kick at anybody, scores equals 
band equals one and make sure you put that band equals inside of those little squiggly brackets and then we have our closing square bracket and what that will do once I turn it on here is it's going to kick Arctic Shark because he has a score of one and then one more thing I want to mention is you can put any delay you'd like to on this um, I did a minimum here I did like a hundred tick delay I figured was good because you don't need to necessarily have this run all the time um, if you wanted to add more time to it you could if you added like 1200 tick delay it would be every one minute um, one thing that's good about that is if you wanted to unban the player, you would have a little bit more time. Um, sometimes when you want to quote unquote unban a player, if this has too low of a tick delay, you won't be able to be fast enough. So what you might have to do is turn the command off in order to unban a player. But just before we turn it on real quick, let's show you how to unban a player. And you just go scoreboard players reset player name ban so once the player comes back online you could just put their name here so we can put arctic shark games and then it would remove the point on his score if you ran it with your button here so you could leave a couple of buttons for your admins to ban players if you wanted to and then without further ado let's go ahead and actually turn the command on i'm going to face this way so we can see arctic shark over there and we're going to go ahead and grab redstone and we're just going to power this command block up and you can see arctic shark has left the game so now he's been banned from the server and if he tried to rejoin um, on a new session this command block will remember and continuously ban them forever um, now of course you could put this on always active as well i was just trying to give you guys an opportunity to be able to turn it off easily if you made a mistake the shark commanders have a whole discord which is meant to help new people learn commands so if you guys are having trouble with anything that has to do with the kick command the ban system here or basically anything to do with minecraft bedrock edition commands in general go ahead and join the shark commanders discord i've added a qr code here on a block that you guys can go ahead and scan or if you guys can zoom in and see this code here you can join with that as well as of course it'll be posted in the description as well thank you very much for watching and keep on commanding